Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. And welcome to the Weird Science Comics channel on YouTube, where I'm going to be going through the Nightwing Annual number three. And that is an issue that was written by Dan Jurgens and art by Anaki Miranda. Dan Jurgens, obviously doing the current solo Nightwing series, Anaki Miranda, who I love. And so you go and you want some Dick Grayson. Is that what you want? You want some Dick in your life? Sassy. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, this issue is going to give you some Dick. Hey and is that a good thing? We may by the end decide that wanting Dick might just Hi-oh! be, you know, you'd be happy when, you know, you don't get what you wish for. But you end up with a weird start where you're jumping back in time to issues 67 and 68 of this series, back to the Year of the Villain stuff, back to when William Cobb was in town with a few days to thrill, right? Yes. And ended up getting his great grandson. Dick Grayson, Rick Grayson to become a talent by wiping his mind, doing all that, giving him the memory crystals, that sort of nonsense. Well, during that time, old Condor read, we hardly knew ye, we thought. They ended up fighting. Well, they're back. This annual is heavy Condor Red, as well as the Condor program, as well as some nonsense where you end up Somebody's watching this video. They're dissecting it. They're figuring out, okay, when that Talon did attack Condor Red, it it seemed like his moves seemed kind of, you know, familiar. It's like I could sense a little dick in all of this. And so you end up where they are trying to figure this out. A Miss Hale in particular, they're in Montana. What they are going to end up finding out by the end of this is indeed that Talon was Nightwing. Well, we then go back. 18 months ago when Nightwing was actually Dick Grayson. It wasn't a squad. It wasn't a Rick. It was a Dick. And so you get your Dick Grayson. This is what we've all been wanting for years now. We do get it. But is it something, be careful what you wish for, at least at this point? Because when you go through this issue, yes, this is an annual, so we kind of can play with this. You get a flesh. This isn't the Dick Grayson that we want. We want all of the nonsense over. We don't want a little interlude where we see, and I don't know about you, and just as an aside, Dick Grayson, not just Nightwing, but Dick Grayson is my favorite character in comics. I love Dick Grayson. You know why? Because he's a good guy. Everybody loves him, and that's why I love him. And I love all the iterations, including like a Grayson, except Rick Grayson, which I I thought maybe I could get behind. It's just nothing has happened with it. So you just going back and, hey, Remember when he was? Yeah, I do remember. I remember every stinking time I end up reading this book. So having this little reprieve, it's nice. Is it a palate cleanser? Eh, Maybe. I don't know. Is that what that means? So having this, though, you end up, you know, you're going to play and you're going to see Dan Juergens, who I'm assuming that if the book goes on, I'm really afraid that Rick Grayson ends and they cancel the book and then I'll slice somebody. But you end up with, Dan Jurgen showing, hey, look at me, I'm writing the Dick Grayson, and maybe, just maybe setting up the story that we're going to get when he does get his memories back. Well, with that, do we want a Condor Red, Condor Squad story? Because now, if that's the case, and it may not be, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much, but I probably will, the idea that you get... Rick Grayson done. He's been with this Nightwing squad. Nobody liked it. It's not going to pan out. So let's get Dick Grayson back. But instead of giving you Dick Grayson by, we're going to have him be part of the Condor squad. Nonsense. If that happens again, oh my goodness. Well, you have Dick Grayson Nightwing going and he runs into these mechanized guys, the Blood Knights. They have the B L U D with the umlaut. They're being very brand conscious, being in Bloodhaven, though Rick Gray, Dick Grayson says, hey, by the way, that umlaut, it makes it blued. It's the blued that we're in. You know, we're in Bloodhaven, so you're the blued knights. And if they are going with branding, I know they want to sound cool and be the blood knights. It sounds like some death metal band or something. But if they are based in Bloodhaven, and then just go with the Blue Knights. I don't care. They're stupid anyway. I don't think we're going to see them much more. He ends up saying, oh, you must be out of town. I know. Look at him. Look at him born and bred. <laughs> He's Mr. Blue Haven. He is. So you end up having them attack. You know, Dick Grayson goes down to stop them. In the meantime, you have Blockbuster looking like 
What the heck's going on? We're going to change uh, our target. Now, since you all are getting your asses kicked by a Nightwing, maybe you should target Nightwing. So that's what you should do. Go get them, boys. And yeah, they're fighting it out. Well, they end up later on showing they only have pretty much one MO. They only have one method of attack. They, they're they not very imaginative, but they are effective because they gas him. They end up poisoning Dick Grayson. And it works. He is going to die. He is done. And and again, though, is there any stakes? Because we know this happened a couple of issues ago. It ain't going to work. So, oh, my. How is he going to get out of the situation? Well, of course, he's going to get out of it by Condor Red. Condor Red sees this. He's been told to go back to base. But he spells out to it, Miss Hale, the leader. Hey, you ended up starting this whole program. To help because, you know, you had problems with people not helping and things in the superheroes. So you're going against your whole deal. You're a hypocrite. Get it's what free. you are. And then she says, all right, scoop him up. Grab the Nightwing. Bring him on to Montana. Let's go. I hear you're allowed to have maybe multiple, you know, spouses there. Maybe maybe that's a thing with this. I don't know. I don't know much about things. But you end up where, of course... Nightwing, Dick Grayson, he's out of his mind here. He's gassed up. He just ate a burrito. He's really upset. He starts fighting. It's one of those, I'm going to fight you until we become friends or you save my ass because I'm dying. And that's what pretty much happens. You end up where he does pass out. And Condor Red grabs him and takes him back to the base. Well, we get back to the base, which is not very inconspicuous in the middle there of Montana. But you end up where they're doing the studies, they're doing the tests, they're trying to save him because they know he's a good guy. Now, you do have that little thing. Are you tempted to take off his mask? Well, I am a little, but I think that it might be rigged to do this and it might shock me and it might be that. Yeah, yeah. And and you always have to add this. I just want Dan Jurgens to know we all realize this stuff. Just don't do it. They, you know, these people, whatever. But he ends up, they bring him back to health. He's got to go back to Blood Haven, as he says. And they're like, no, no, no. You can't go until you're fully recovered. So is he a prisoner? The answer is yes. But they want to kind of go into recruitment mode. Nightwing's awesome. Dick Grayson's the best. So why not have him on our squad? So the best thing to do is show the squad. Look, look at our branding. We're the Condors. You got the Condor Blue. And the Condor Slate. Now, really, you have Condor Red, Condor Blue, and then Condor Slate. Oh, my Mr. Slate, alive and well. Where, where's a Spacely Sprockets while, while we're at it, right? Where is Condor Spacely? But you end up having this where they're talking about this Miss Hale saying, we're not bad. We do some undercover work. We do things. But... Most of it is legal on the book stuff and keeps kind of giving them, you should join us. Nah, you should join us. Nah. Yeah, you should join us. Nah. He he really doesn't want to. He's more of a loner, even though as Rick Grayson, he becomes part of a team and, and goes so over the top that he wears grease paint. I mean, really, if you want to point out just the slumming that he does as Rick Grayson, he wears grease. He's got grease on him, not the Danny Zuko cool type of grease. I'm talking the the stupid Rizzo grease, right? It's nonsense. And so he's like, no, no, I'm a loner. And you have Miss Hale, who suddenly looks like Megan Fox out of nowhere. It's like, really? Is that what you think there, big boy? Hey there, big boy. Yeah, she, she, she is getting sassy, like. How about this? How about I get you in this outfit here? And so you go through this. He still doesn't want to do this, but this armor is offered. Hey, maybe you can wear our armor. Maybe you can get inside it. Maybe you can get inside it and sweat and things like that. And then slaps him on the ass. That's not appropriate. That That is not appropriate one How dare bit. You? And seriously, I know that Jim and Juan, and if you read Grayson, you know what I'm talking about. They, they don't mind people getting a little handsy, but really, they like to be aware of it Sassy. beforehand. And he even says, that's my personal space. And of course, she says, about time you know this. Luckily, it wasn't the opposite way. I mean, it's still bad, but if it's the opposite way, Dick Grayson's in jail. But yeah, so you go on and, oh my, 
the Blue Knights, they at it again. They don't learn their lesson, so you end up having them be in the bad guys they are. Oh my, here comes the Condors. And you got Nightwing in his Condor outfit that they told him he should wear. And I believe that Batwing is on the phone right now with a cease and desist order. It looks so much like the Batwing costume. It is not even funny, but I do like it. I do like it. But you're ending there. Where's Condor Slate? You end up where they're fighting and you're going to get the stats here. Oh, my God. It can deflect bullets. I mean, it is armor. It looks like it would do that. But, oh, he's like Superman now. Right. And then you go and, oh, no, here's where the. The blue knights are back to their deal. Hey, what do we do? We just tried to shoot him. It didn't work. Well, we only have one other thing. Gas him. Throw the gas at him. It doesn't work now. He's in a suit. It doesn't go through. Nice try, blue knights. Well, this ends up being okay. They're taken care of. Well, now we see the big bad where yeah, Blockbuster, who was watching from his penthouse, he had a suit on. He's like, I don't need this. I'm going to go out. I'm going to I'm going to smash. I'm going to Blockbuster smash here. And he goes out and he starts doing that. He seems to almost be ripping apart Condor Red. This is kind of what Nightwing had said before, where you can't rely too much on a suit. You can't rely too much. You know, it isn't just the clothes make the man. When you are a superhero, you have to have some moves. And he has some moves like the uppercut and he gets some brick, no hit back. Neither does Blockbuster because he's out cold. And so then you go back to Montana where they are studying all of this. And this is basically the gist of the entire issue. Yep. I think that Talon was Nightwing, but I think he was under mind control. The end. Oh, my. No fuss, no muss. But you do actually end. With this thing that scares me, this thing that scares me of, you know what, we're not going to turn him in. We're not going to do anything bad to him because somehow I think he might join us up. He will be mine. He shall be mine. And you end that. And I'm like, all right, I do not know if Dan Juergens writes a great Nightwing. He's not writing a a great Rick Grayson Nightwing. I'll I'll tell you that. But that's not really his fault. But. Just the quips and the pace. It, he, it is what it's weird for me to say. He has the formula down. He knows what a Nightwing should do. He knows what a Nightwing should say. It's just a little bit off. Maybe this would be something that would be remedied by a couple issues, but it just seemed a little askew. Right. So when you do this, but my bigger fear is that this is the story that Dan Jurgens has in mind. He'll join this Condor squad. They'll go around in the armor because what you end up kind of hinting at in this issue, this annual, is that a Dick Grayson Nightwing is more than just a set of armor, is more than just this, that, and the other thing. And so when you have all this going down, I would rather, you know, have it be that he doesn't have this armor and stuff like that. And if he did, and all of a sudden he's bulletproof, all these things, I think that's nonsense. But overall, I like the art a lot. Giving it a 6.5, it's okay. It's an annual. Annuals like this, and this one in particular, you do not need to read it. It may become more important later. Who knows? But in the here and now, heading towards Joker War, all this stuff, this is just an aside story that you really don't need to pay attention to now. If you are a Nightwing fan like me, you will have bought it like I did. And there you go. But if you're somebody who just wants to jump in, you're going to get this, then you're going to head back to Rick Grace in the next issue of Nightwing. So why? Why bother? Just wait. But yeah, that is the review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and go to the links below where we have all sorts of things, including our DC Comics Podcast, Marvel Comics Podcast, both Marvel and DC sites. We have a Patreon where you can help us out for all the things that we do. But thanks, everybody, and I'll talk to you later.